Hello there. This is part three of rebuilding the Erivo. And we haven't done much yet. All we got at the rear end. That was everything that was broken. But since we broke the wrong component, we had to pay for our actions. So now what we got here is we need to take out all the electronics of this. The box, the motor, the transmission, everything gotta come out. So what we're gonna do is and the servos we're gonna bring so pretty much this part we're gonna do whole rear a uh, whole center end of the vehicle, all the electronic transmission and the servos, swap them on to the new chassis. And uh doesn't look so easy, doesn't look so good. Alright, but what we're gonna do is let's flip over and we are gonna start by just taking off the little screw on the drive shaft here. So what we're gonna do is get our small little Allen key here and the little grub screw in the center. It's like a shaft looking one that comes off. Save it, do not lose it. And once that out, you should be able to push or not push your um, axle shaft. But I'm not worried about the axle. We're gonna go more further. We're gonna take off the two screws from the linkages. Okay, I took off the wrong screw. So let's put that back. So both servo needs to be coming off. Let's take this guy off. Let's take this guy off. And let's put that to the side. And our steering should be just free playing there. That looks good. So let's go a little bit more further. We're gonna we're gonna take off what? Um, have no idea. <laughs> it's not easy. This thing is not easy. That's the only problem. So what we'll do is we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back down. And we're gonna take off the four screws on the transmission here. But even that might be a wrong, bad idea. Because the shaft is not all the way out. And it won't come out till the whole front end gets out. Okay, four little screws, two I got out, two I haven't got out, but they're loose all the way. That's one. And that's two. Okay, you cannot get that out. It's not gonna come off. What we're gonna do next is we need to find some screws that's holding. Let's take off this tape. This little mod I have here is a great mod for snow and stuff. So the snow and stuff doesn't get in. But now it's gotta come off. Okay. Okay, I don't see much in there. All right, we're gonna take off, just like the front end, we're gonna take off the brace. Let's pop open this brace. We got a whole bunch of screws. Come on, brace. Just try not to lose track of your screws. And the brace goes all the way down, and the brace has two and two screws on each side. Switch up on the Allen. One. Two. Three. And four. Four little screws. Let's see if our brace pops open. So we had four, one, two, three, four, and two over here for the shocks. So let's keep four and two together. The long ones together. Okay, I think if I take off a couple of screws here, the whole front end of the vehicle should just come out of there. Let's see if that works. 
Moin. I think this is one of the toughest RCs I worked on. But nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. So all three screws are just falling in there. Let's see what happens here. Okay, we might have some screws in the bottom. See everything is moving. Okay, there's two screws right under this sh shocks here. Oops. Let's swap up this little guy. So there's two screws right under this shock, both of the shocks, and I think that's gonna release the whole front end. Two. So right here. I think I got everything. Everything that needs to come off. This comes off. And I think everything should just pop open right now. Okay, there you go. The whole thing has dismantled. Okay, but we're not gonna put this together because remember, we cannot put this together. And let's put this here because everything needs to go together. The shaft and the transmission has to meet and the only way to do that is either take everything apart from this end or the other end and we have a small little defect the little grub screw over here is sticking up a little bit so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna tighten that up so that's a good catch right there the grub screw was loose and there you go that thing ain't going nowhere now so let's leave these three bolts two bolts with this little guy so this is the whole front end put it to the side so we pretty much are doing really good here we're really doing good, good here so we don't have much left here so what I'm gonna do is four screws on the servos make sure you keep the servers in order don't put the right one on the left one or it's gonna be a wild damage to your pocket and you don't want that so that's that and uh, there's two bolts inside here that holds this box down and I think the transmission and everything should just come up so far this is loose unless there's something else holding this but I don't think nothing else is holding this because it's all moving around Okay, the drive shafts, the drive shafts, how can I forget? Both of the drive shafts are holding it. So it was a mistake, me taking off the shaft from the other end. Should have had done. Oh! <laughs> that happens. That happens. There's our shaft. This metal shaft, we're gonna put it on this side. The other shaft is already out, so that goes back in there. Now we're gonna slip that right through there. And don't forget the order of your servers, because I know mine. I have a lengthy and shorter and a longer. Okay, one of the screws didn't come off. It better come off. So it's only five bolts to take the whole front end off. And the brace, the brace has uh, six bolts itself. So check this out. This should be all loose to drop into the new, come on, come on. The whole transmission is out loose there. What I'm gonna do is while we're here, I'm gonna fish out the two bolts 
the ESC. I hope this is the bolt that are holding it down. Or is it just the fan? Or is there two bolts going from the bottom? I need to look into the tray now. Let's put this back together before I lose both of them. Let's just see what's inside this tray because there's two screws. Okay, there's no screws. So I'm thinking this is a glued on. So yep, this might be glued on. Or it might have more screws underneath that. So let's take off. Let's take off these screws. They're short screws so they can't go through or can they? sure about that one this is the only thing I'm not sure about so they yeah they are going right through but I think it's still glued on so I might have to get a flathead screwdriver but meanwhile let's open this box up let's see what's inside the box there has to be two screws inside the box yep I don't have to move the ES, the receiver. You can just see them sitting on the edges. The blue seal here is very important. Make sure that blue seal goes back together or your thing will not be waterproof. So I'm gonna come right back with the flathead screwdriver. I wanna welcome me back, cause I'm back with the screwdriver. And I think this got like a sticky tape. I'm not sure, but we're gonna have to just figure that one out. Yup, sticky tape, go easy and slow, and it should come right off, and it should go right on to the new chassis, because it still got its glue together, so let's pop this guy open out of here, and let's get this guy out of here, you little bad boy, you made me go through so much, this thing made me go through so much. Now we can welcome back the little guy here and what we're going to do is we're going to grab everything slowly and gently and we're going to swap everything pretty much it's going to be a quick little swap <laughs> believe it or not I love this car compared to any other cars I have this is one of my favorite so Everything goes back the way it was. If you want to clean it at this time, you can clean it. I'm not a fan of cleaning things. Well, I do keep them clean, but not a fan of having something that I can eat off because that's not how things supposed to be. They're never going to be like that. Trust me, things will never be like that. I mean, I would keep them clean. I want my RC to be clean, but you gotta bash them. Cleaning is like when you don't wanna go out there for months with the same thing. Like my friend, what he likes to do is, he likes to do speed months, a little bit here, a little bit there. So that's when I would say, put the truck away. If you're gonna do speed months for the summer because summer is the only time that you can do speed months. But I want my truck side in the summer. Have fun. And uh, we got that in. So let's put, make sure none of your wires are getting crunched and make sure this seal right here, let's put it to the side for now. That's one of the important seals or you will not, your thing is not gonna be waterproof or resistant. I wouldn't even say waterproof. So now I need to fish the little bolts in there and put them on the spot. And then, lock it down. Remember, two screws we got in here. The screw just went out of its place. So now, I had to, to toss the screw out of there. But, let's get this guy in. Some of these things are just hand tight. Like this one right here is just a hand tight. Because it's plastic, you know, you will strip it. You will damage it. This little guy 
is coming out great. All right, so make sure your wiring is all in nice and neat like it's supposed to be. You don't want it to be out of place. All right, do not forget the blue seal. Very important seal. Perfect. And now we're gonna lock up the cover. Where's my little screw driver? Again, even this little guy right here is not something that I would just go bananas and go crazy. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out there, close my door because someone got their truck running out there and it's making a hell of a noise. We'll be right back. I don't know if it got dark in there because I closed the doors down and uh, I don't know. But anyways, this is tight, this is tight, everything is tight, the ESC's in. Let's put the transmission, the motor in. And my transmission doesn't look so clean at all. You guys are probably like this guy. Make sure your wiring is nice and good. Remember to keep your servos in order. Let's drop this one in. And uh, mine, remember I kept the one with the long cable was to that side. And this guy goes in here. And while we at it, at this moment I can take my uh, four screws for the servo. Each one has four. Once you're done, to do replacing servers, you need to line them. If you got original servers, they got plastic gear, you might destroy them immediately. And then you're gonna have to spend 200 bucks. So I would suggest you line them, and I do have a video on how to do that, so check that video out where I put the servos in on this e Revo. Because I broke two, then I broke two more, and then I broke two more. It costed me more than the car, and I love the car, and I wasn't gonna just let it go just like that. So I, I fixed it up really good. Then I put these little metal, oh, these metal servers had to go in there. Just checking if my camera's running because I can see myself right there. I got some great videos coming up. You guys are gonna love the videos. And it, they're, they're not boring videos. They're in pretty much a lot of entertainment. And uh, going crazy with RCs. I've been off a little bit because, oops, my screw fell. I was busy with the work and you gotta have a job. You know, you can't just be having fun all the time. We'll kick you out of the house if that's the case. You don't want that. Alright, so now I can simply just take this little guy. Again, plastic, okay? My drill is really strong. I can uh, break metal bolts with this little guy. So plastic is nothing. Just snug them and I can feel it when it's tight. That's that. That's that. Yup. Yep. Perfect. Okay, the routing on my cable here was this side and that was tucked in there. This was over here. So I'm looking in good condition here. All I need to flip over, put four bolts in this transmission, and uh, the shaft, I wanna put that shaft into right now. So this is tight, 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 this is tight. We got everything in there so far. So before I put the transmission in, I want to put the shaft in, this is a metal shaft. Okay, so we was almost done, but then I went and looked for this shaft right here. This is gonna be the front shaft, so we're gonna put this one on the front because we already got the rear one, this one when it broke. All I did was get me a shaft that worked out really good. So what I'm gonna do is, let's insert this shaft into the transmission And I get it. There you go. And don't forget. Uh oh. Uh oh. Lost it. Oh no no no. There it goes. We got the little grub screw. And it only goes one way. Cannot go the wrong way. It won't work. And this tightens up. Where's our little tool now? Everything's misplaced already. What's going on? 
Yeah, that was my friend that was here. But anyways, we got the little grub screw right there. And perfect. Perfect. We're gonna flip this guy. We still got a lot to do here. A lot of the covers here has to go on, but we're gonna flip this over. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the four screws. Be careful with these lines because we have not completed the task with our transmission here. Okay. It's from the other side. The four screws into the transmission mount from down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get all four from right here. One. I thought that was from the other side. You know, this car is not a joke. This thing is it's really complicated. So there we have four screws down below. And switch up our bits. Easy, okay? Easy. You strip that little housing, it's a new transmission. There you go. Looks good. So that's done. Our wiring here has to go under down below and that's how they're routed right down below here we can do that later on it's all good even though I got it already so pretty much it's looking good and this little guy these cables I'm gonna have to tie them somehow some way because uh, well there's a cover here anywhere for the gear anyways next step all right so we're pretty much done here and we're going to continue this on the next part. Thank you for watching this one. We'll see you on the next one.